Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all. And welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged. Some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. So I'm sure you all have heard by now that there was another school hitting today. This time in Georgia, a Georgia high school, and nine people were wounded. Four have, to my understanding, has passed away. And this is so sad on so many levels. And I say this all the time, all the time. We are so invested in other countries and trying to help everybody else. And we got so many problems that's going on in our own country. In our own country right here that should be handled. There is no reason, y'all, whatsoever, that every school shouldn't have some type of either metal detectors or either police or a person from the army or somebody in each school. It's not... It ain't like it's just so many schools and, and you know what I'm saying? That they don't have enough army people to put in there or this and that and that and this. We have more people. We have more police. We have more uh, people in the army than we have schools. So why can't we put e a one person in each school? Why not? For extra protection and precaution. Even if you want to, don't want it to look so, you know, messed up and so bad by putting a metal detector in. <laughs> because if it was up to me, I'll put metal detectors in all of them. Because for the importance of, you know, your kid's safety. But if people don't want it, you know, it to look bad. It ain't about what it looks like. It's about the safety of your children. And that somebody, you know, is not bringing weapons into the school. We have so many people coming over here right now, y'all. So many people we know nothing about. But what we do know is that a lot of children from other countries and all of that stuff, um, they've been brought up to, um, you know, do things in their country that we don't do over here. Okay, now, mind you, we do have some people that stands out because we do not have these kind of hittings that take place here. And it'd be from people from our own country. We, I just talked about this the other day on how a lot of, you know, people, these, you know, people sweating Skittles get mad and they take it out on the kids and they go hit up the schools. I just talked about this the other day. Okay. Then we have some, some riffraffs that like to go and hit up the school just to be stupid. So what's wrong with protecting your children? This is one reason why I was like, I, I wouldn't, if I had a chance to have, you know, that family life and you know, um, have a husband and start over right now at this particular time and have children right now, I wouldn't feel comfortable bringing children into this world right now, y'all. I just really wouldn't because of the situations and the things that's going on right now. It's sad. It's a sad world that we're living in right now. I wanted to jump on here really quick and just say condolences to the families of um, the four people that lost their lives. Four people has passed away. Nine people was taken to the hospital after the hitting. And they said a suspect is in custody. And you know what's the messed up part about this whole situation even more? The suspect is 14 years old, y'all. A 14-year-old is behind this. A 14-year-old. This is said on so many levels, y'all. It doesn't make sense. And the crazy part about school just started. Well, we're like a, a few days in for school in certain areas. It hasn't even been a couple of weeks. It's been a couple of days or week, a, a week or so, right, y'all? The school just started because some areas have started a week before. Some people started this week. Like, are y'all serious? What is to come if they're already having school hittings? 
the first week of school, y'all. This is why I be kind of petrified to send a child to school right now. Not just because of all of the stuff that's passing around from this person. Because kids is the biggest carrier of stuff. If somebody takes something to a school and get it, them kids is going to take it back to each family across the border. Okay, y'all? Every household is going to catch some mess if they get just put it in the classroom. This is one thing that I, I'm petrified of, just germs passing around. And a lot of kids is responsible, but a lot of kids aren't. A lot of kids aren't. They're not responsible. There are big kids that's like, you know, 9, 10 years old that still put their hands in their mouths and all of this stuff. Like, it, and then we, it, if you don't have responsible parent, parents, you can't have responsible kids, to be honest with y'all. Because the, I, I just talked about this. When you when the parents let the kids go to school and they sit, and then you get everybody in the, cl in the class sick, you don't care. You got to know they don't care because they don't even care about their child going to school not feeling well. But then you hear about stuff like this. The schools are a joke right now, y'all. The whole school system is a joke. The fact that you have to even deal with some mess like this. But only thing that our people are concerned about is other countries right now. We're sending billions and billions of dollars. We're sending millions and millions of soldiers to other countries to help other countries out when we need the help here in our own. It's sad on so many levels. Y'all, condolences to the family. The four that passed away, may they rest in peace. Um, hopefully everybody else pulls through. There's a lot of parents, family members right now hurting. Y'all, they're hurting. They're in pain right now because their child is gone. And yes, I know this was a high school, but this don't make any sense. I don't care how old your children are. They steal your babies. This is sad on so many levels, it doesn't make sense, y'all. This hitter took out four people at a Georgia high school and wounded nine others. This is ridiculous, y'all. They said, um, I believe they said that there was something online about threats and stuff like that as well. I don't know the whole circumstance behind this, if this child was being bullied or whatever, whatever, whatever. But whatever it is, all children should be protected, y'all, when they're going to these schools. They should be protected. It makes no sense. Um, they're saying that a Georgia mother told a local news outlet that her 14-year-old son, who had autism, was taken out by... Um, Wait a minute. Is this the same story? Oh, yeah. This is the same story. So, one of the parents speaking out that her son had aut was autistic was taken out in Appalachia. I think that's how you pronounce it. High school hitting. Okay, y'all? On Wednesday. Um, he was taken out by the hitter. So, some of these kids have, you know, certain disabilities and stuff like that, too, that were taken out. So, this is what they're saying. Um, this is sad, y'all. And this is one of the parents who Mason Sher Shermerhorn said her that her son was one of the four kids that were um, taken out in the hitting. Okay, y'all? This is sad on so many levels. It makes no sense. And I'm waiting to see, you know, I don't know if they put it up or not. I had, I've been going all morning. And then when I came home today, I just crashed. I passed out, y'all. I was so tired. And, you know, I'm just not getting back into everything. I didn't, I haven't went over the new up-to-date stuff. That they are releasing that this guy, you know, this child's name, who was the hitter. I'm not going to say the person's name because, um... You know, sometimes you can say people name and sometimes you can't. This is one of the kids that was there and witnessed what happened, y'all. This is just one of the kids. And I want, let me see if I can play what he said. Let me see if I can find it again. This is just, this is one of the kids that was in the classroom that's speaking about what he just went through. And this child is probably going to be traumatized, y'all, for the rest of his life. But at the same time, this, this is a very strong child to come forward and speak on what he just went through and not still be shaken up at. Okay, y'all? 
Um, let me um see if I can find a video. I have so many videos, y'all. Okay, yes. here we go. And my teacher had got in front. Oh, I started running. He started shooting like. Oh, I started running. He. Oh, I started running. He started shooting like, like ten times. He shot at least at least ten times. And then I ran to the back of the classroom. I dived behind the desk. And my teacher had got in front of me like he was guarding. Like the gunshots were so close to me. Like my ears started ringing real bad. Like the whole classroom was smoking, like and everything. And then um. I got not when they find, when he finally um got out of the classroom. My teacher started barricading the door with discs and um bookshelves and all that. And then, and then I had got up. When I had got up, I had saw I had saw one of my classmates on the ground like, bleeding so bad. And then when I had I had moved myself to the other side of the room because I when I, the, the the um bookshelf I was hiding behind it was right in front of the door. So I had moved to the other side, to like this side with my friend. And I was checking on my other friend because he got grazed in his leg. And then there was a white girl that was in front of me. She got shot in her leg and stuff. And then my other friend got shot in her stomach. And it was just so sad and stuff like that. Are you okay? Yes, ma'am. That's a lot to process. Yeah. And you're so young. You're how old? 14. Yes. And my teacher had got in front. Oh, I started running. He started shooting like. Oh, I started running. He. Oh, I started running. He started shooting like, like ten times. He. Y'all, kids shouldn't be have to be put through some mess like this. This is this is like they're living. They are inside of a movie, y'all. And could you imagine your child getting dressed, going to school, and going and live through something like this? This is never going to leave this child. Even when he gets grown and have kids of his own, he's still going to think about what he went through in that class today, y'all. This is sad on so many levels. Um, prayers up for even the children that didn't get hurt, but still is going to be hurt because of being traumatized from this mess. This is... <laughs> y'all, we got to do better. We have to do better. And I'm tired of hearing these politicians talk about this and that and that and this. And somebody came in my comment section. I have to address this really, really quick. Um, yesterday, somebody came in my comment section talking about, I never heard somebody that's a reporter. I didn't know I was a reporter. <laughs> I just did. I just do videos. I've never heard somebody say this and that, that and this. Well, this and that and that and this. If you don't like it, don't let the door not hit you on your way out. Okay. I can't stand people come to your page and they always, you know, got nitpicking about every little thing because I said this and that and that and this. Well, I said it three times now. That's, you should be really um cringing right now, okay? Um, Y'all pray for our children. Prayers up for our children. Prayers up for the United States. Prayers up for what's going on around the world. Because this is some sad stuff that your kids cannot go to school and be safe. It's sad that our government got so much going on. And the children are the last on the list to be protected, y'all. They're the last on the list. So, like I said, prayers up for the families. Prayers up for um, the kids that's in that classroom that got to go back to school the next day. And yeah, they get him counseling and all of that stuff, but you got to be petrified to be in that classroom right now and not know when the next person is going to lose their man and go doing something else. Now, I don't know if they have, you know, came forward to say why this has happened because there's no excuse at all for this happening. I don't care what excuse they come up with. There's no excuse for this. So rest in peace to the victims. Prayers up for the families of, the, you know, the ones that have lost their loved ones. Prayers up for the ones that didn't lose their loved ones. That children is going to probably have nightmares and everything for the, a, a long time after this. This kid said that the room was smoked out from d the hitting. People were getting taken out and hit up all around this, this child right here. And he still seemed like he is, you know, shook up from it. And I appreciate him even coming forth to tell us what happened. But this is not something that our kids should be experiencing, y'all. 
Not at all. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like the video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.